I'm Steven, um, I'm an SRE, and today I'm going to tell you about Experience's Monitoring Measurement Lab. Since 2009, with your help, Measurement Lab has been measuring the public internet and making that data publicly available. MLab is a partnership between public interest nonprofit groups, network researchers, and companies like Google who are interested in the internet being faster for absolutely everyone. Over the last year, we've upgraded almost uh, 450 machines around the world, and we're continuing to deploy to new sites uh, all the time. All MLab tests are user-initiated, so we are very dependent on client integrations like the internet speed test OneBox. Uh, in some countries, when you enter how fast is my internet, you'll be presented with the option of running a speed test that connect to MLab servers. We get about a million tests a day, and we're on track by the end of this year to get about a billion tests over the lifetime of the project. And once we have enough tests from enough people in a given region, we can perform performance analysis for user visible internet uh, performance. For example, in 2014, the ISP interconnection report discovered severe congestion in network interconnects in the United States. Ultimately, that report informed the FCC's open internet order in support of network neutrality. And more recently, our team has been working with regulators in the EU to support similar efforts. So since 2009, the software stack we've depended on has been has largely stayed the same, and it's starting to show its age. So this year, we're literally rewriting or updating everything to use modern open source tools like Kubernetes, Grafana, and Prometheus, and putting running everything we can in Google Cloud Platform. So far, four new tools have helped us adopt Prometheus. Conventions for unit tests for alerts. Um, we write unit tests for code, we run in production infrastructure, and we write alerts for the infrastructure we care about. Uh, we really want to write unit tests for alerts before we depend on them. Um, that feature isn't supported directly yet, but there is an open issue tracking the feature. And, but in, and until that feature uh, is available, uh, we've adopted a convention around a very simple utility we've created called Query Tester. Query Tester uses promql.test interface and the promql test language. Uh, basically, for every alert that we create, we create a corresponding promql test file. We verify that the query tester passes, and then during code review, we do a manual comparison between the alert condition and the promql test. Oh, no, I, I didn't want to include this slide because I didn't want to admit to everyone that we have production dependencies on Nagios. <laughs> because we do, for eight years. So some of the, those dependencies are gonna take time to untangle. Um, and, but as we were learning more about Prometheus and Grafana, we wanted to take advantage of some of the visualization capabilities of the performance data that Nagios is collecting, but otherwise useless to us. And while Prometheus has tons of third-party exporters at the time, there was no Prometheus exporter, so we created one. Using the Nagios Live Status plugin, the Nagios exporter queries the service status of all services and then does a very manual uh, uh, me mechanic translation into metrics that Prometheus can scrape. New service discovery for GCP. Uh, one of our new services is an App Engine flexible environment service. And by design, App Engine does not expect clients to need to address individual instances, so we can't use the front door. And even though Flex VMs are GCE instances under the surface, the GCE API does not, does not list or return Flex VMs. So the GCE service discovery in Prometheus doesn't help us here. Fortunately, the App Engine Management API does make it possible to uh, list all of the nodes and instances associated with a given App Engine service and version. So if you set up the GCP service discovery as a companion to Prometheus, uh, every instance can be discovered and scraped. We also run multiple Kubernetes clusters in GKE, each with a local Prometheus instance to automatically, okay, to automatically discover new clusters and uh, monitor the availability in federated deployments. Uh, for that, we use the Google Container Engine API and the Kubernetes API. 
And we think we can use the same techniques to automatically add data sources to Grafana. A new alert manager, webhook receiver for GitHub. Yeah, and not only do we have operational dependencies on Nagios, but Nagios sends notifications by email. We did not want to repeat those mistakes from the past, and at this point, our team has mostly been uh, working from GitHub and Slack, so we used the alert manager's webhook API, GitHub's API, and created a GitHub receiver. Thank you very much. Uh, please let me know if you've solved similar problems. <laughs>